This is a temperature measurement demonstration with NI Compact DAC and C-Series modules. In this video, we're going to be setting up a quick example of a temperature alarming system with LabVIEW and Compact DAC. But before we get into the programming, let's first look and see what hardware we have. Um, for thermocouple measurements in the C-Series modules, uh, we have a, a few different options. One of which is the 9213 16-channel module for high-density thermocouple solutions. And the other one is a four-channel version, uh, the NI9211. And you can see we've already got four thermocouples connected to it. Both of these modules are 24-bit resolution. They have built-in cold junction compensation for a better accurate, for more accuracy. Uh, and then they can connect to a variety of thermocouple types such as K, J, T, etc. We also have our compact DAC chassis, which is already powered on and connected to our laptop over a USB cable. And then for the alarming portion, for the digital output, we have a digital output module, the NI9472, which has some built-in LEDs for test purposes. So when we build our system, we'll actually be able to see an alarm output on the module itself. Now to get started, I'm going to go ahead and install the module into my chassis. And as I mentioned, it's already powered on. These modules are hot swappable, so I can just select any of the slots and install my module and it's going to be automatically detected and configured. Now let's jump into LabVIEW. Now looking at the front panel, we're going to start by placing down a waveform chart. This is going to allow us to see the temperature over time, as you would you know, logging, logging temperature. Um, we're going to go ahead and set up the, the scale for degrees Fahrenheit. So room temperature, we're going to say between 70 and 100. So I'm actually going to be able to increase the temperature by touching it with my fingertip. We're going to turn off auto scale. That'll make it easier to, to view. And then uh, again, also to increase the ease of, of view, we're going to make the, the line styles a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to increase the thickness on my chart. So when we do see the temperature, it, it'll be um, more easily seen. Now next, aside from viewing it, we're going to set up our alarm portion of the program. So we're going to go ahead and drop down a slider, which will allow us to um, quickly set our set point. And our set point is going to be in the same range as our graph. So again, 70 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we do have the alarm on the module itself where we'll see the LED, but let's go ahead and put another one on the LabVIEW front panel. So I'm going to put down a, an LED, a round green LED, make it a little bit bigger, easier to see. And there we have our, our quick, simple user interface for our alarming program. So let's look over at the block diagram and actually start bringing data into, into LabVIEW. To communicate with the hardware, I'm going to place down a DAC assistant. And this is a wizard, a VI Express node that's going to allow us to quickly set up our measurements. Now a thermocouple measurement, like we've already got connected, uh, we're going to acquire from them. So I'm going to choose acquire, analog input, temperature, and then of course thermocouples because that's the sensor that we're using today. I want to select all of them because I do have four thermocouples connected. So I go ahead and select all four, click on finish. Now in my configuration screen, I can I'm go ahead again, select all four thermocouples so I can configure them all at the same time. Uh, this is a K-type thermocouple, so I'm going to use the pull down, select K-type. Notice that the cold junction compensation or CJC source has been automatically selected as built in, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and change my scaled units from degrees C to degrees Fahrenheit. And then looking at the timing, I'm going to, I'm going to increase the speed on this a little bit and select continuous samples so we can log temperature over time. And let's do two times a second, so two hertz. And with every loop, I want to bring one sample into the program. Now that we have everything configured, I want to, to test it real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Run from within the DAC Assistant, and you can see we're already getting measurements off of our thermocouples. And this is great for debugging or, as we've just used it, to make sure that we've got everything uh, configured correctly. By clicking OK, LabVIEW and the DAC Assistant are going to automatically begin generating code to make our thermocouple measurements. LabVIEW has detected that we want a continuous acquisition and has asked if we would like a loop. So we'll go ahead and say yes, and that'll place a loop for us. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to move our data from the DAC Assistant to the chart. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the waveform chart in and connect it to our data output. Now we should be able to see data on our chart. For the alarming portion, 
we're going to go ahead and alarm off of just one of the channels. So to do that, I'm going to place, I'm going to go back to my palette and the express palette and go to signal manip manipulation and select signals. By placing that on the block diagram and wiring in my data, I'm going to go ahead and select signal zero, say OK. And now what I can do is I can grab, I can branch off of my thermocouple wire, run that into signals. And now the output should be the channel zero, the one channel that we've selected. So for the alarm, for the alarm limit, we need to compare this to our set point. So I'm going to go ahead and place down a greater than function. And I'm going to bring in my signal out into the greater than function. And then I need to drag in my slider from the front panel. There we go. And I can connect that to the other input. So now the function is going to compare uh, my channel zero to my slider um, set point. I do a quick control U to, to clean up the block diagram. And now to connect the alarm, the LED, I'm going to bring in the Boolean and wire that up. Now that's going to handle the software LED. Now to do the hardware one, to communicate with the digital module, we're going to use a, a second DAC assistant. So I'm going to go back to the same palette and I'm going to grab a DAC assistant and place it in my loop. But this time I'm going to output because I want to control a signal. Let's say I have a motor or something connected to my, my uh, module here. So I'm going to say digital output. I'm going to just do a line. And we can choose any of the lines, but we'll choose line zero. And as you can imagine, digital is, is, is quite simple in the setup, so it's already configured. We're going to go ahead and click on OK. And LabVIEW builds the code behind the scenes, and it knows that we're already in a loop, so it doesn't need to ask us that same question again. And I can branch off of the same signal that's going into my software LED to wire it into my hardware LED. A quick control U, and I can clean up my block diagram again. And that is a complete, that should be a complete working system. So let's go ahead and run over to the front panel and click run. Well, first I'm going to adjust the set point. We'll say about 85. Okay, now let's run the program. And you can see my temperature coming in from the bottom. And as I place my fingers on the channels, you can see that I've got different colors for each thermocouple. You can also see that even though the set point is at 85, if I were to select channel 4, even if I take it over 85, I'll warm my fingers up a little bit more. If I were to warm this up over 85, I'm still not going to trigger the alarm because we've selected channel 0 as the alarm function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now select channel 0 and you can see there's my boolean on the front panel and then also I'm going to go ahead and move the chassis a little bit closer to where you can see that when I grab channel 0 and warm it up to 85 not only do you get the front panel alarm but you get the LED go off as well. I'll do that one more time real quick. And again this is a test LED that's built into the module. Uh, we're also getting a 24 volt digital output on on the actual pin that could be driving a motor or a shutoff valve or some kind of damper. Alright, so that is a, a thermocouple measurement and alarm system with Compact DAC and C-Series modules.